Hey everyone, I'm Sarah Squires, aka The Nurturing Coach. Welcome to this video on what to expect when divorcing a narcissist. You've been in a relationship, so you've got a pretty good idea of the sort of person that they are. But you're entering a different zone. You have rejected them and they are going to make you pay. It's really important that you learn what to expect during this process and this video will help you. So all narcissists will present with certain standard behaviours. They might be more in one way than they are in the other but you'll recognise these behaviours and all of them. So they will blame, everything will become your fault, you're the reason the relationship didn't work out either, you were abusive towards them or you abandoned them and are unwilling to communicate and give them another go, you know. They will attack you, they will attack you through subtle means, so they might attack your finances, they might come through work, they might come through friends, they might even come through your family, but there'll be poisonous messages that are sent. Or it could even be overtly, there'll be lots of emotional outbursts directed at you, because like I say, you are now to blame, you are public enemy number one to them. And so be prepared for that venomous attack. There will be intense emotions. This is triggering a lot of anxiety within them there, feeling of being inferior, their abandonment fears, as well as their own childhood and the trauma that they experience is being brought up into this situation as well. So you've got years and years of anxiety and you are to blame for that in their eyes and so it's all coming at you. There'll be a smear campaign because obviously you have to be painted as being the bad guy. It's not enough that they're saying it, they need everyone else to believe it. One, because that feeds into their own ego, gives them lots of attention, lots of sympathy, but also it destroys you, victim and the abuser. So the roles are clearly defined from the outset through the smear campaign. They will recruit lots of flying monkeys. Now, some of them you might not care about. They might be strangers, who you've never met or people you've only met once or twice but be be warned of any new people coming into your circle they may not be exactly what they say they are they may be sent to spy on you to gain information to befriend you to make you trust them to give away secrets but they can also choose the people closest to you to turn on you and again gather information even the children will be asked to do this as well so be on your guard, but like I say, also be mindful of the fact that children are in a vulnerable situation and how good the narcissists are at turning people into their footstool. They will um, use the children and the court process to exert power and control over you. There'll be acts of retaliation, either financially, through the court, um, like I say, through the children as well, all because they have to make you pay. And they are general behaviours that most people are going to experience when they're divorcing narcissists. If you want more specific behaviours, which you really need if you're going to prepare effectively for the divorce, it's important that you learn what types of narcissists you are dealing with. So some solutions to help you through this, um, because it's important that you do know what to expect and you've We've just been through a really good idea of what to expect, but what do you do about that? So I'm not going to leave you in the lurch with that either. So first off, you can try the grey or yellow rock technique. So grey rock essentially being as interesting as a grey rock. So no emotion, very straight down the line, short, clear instructions. Yellow rock is similar, but a little bit more polite. And this is ideal when you're going through the court process because... There'll be other people essentially viewing your communication. You don't want to come across as being the difficult one. So do the grey rock, but you can add politeness within there. Again, still no emotion, still no gaps for them to try and get in. This is just about adding a slightly p p more polite element so that if anyone else is reading or when other people do read it, you're not seen as being difficult. Document everything. 
From today, if you haven't already started, document everything. Tr uh, transfer your tax into emails, um, try and get hold of any financial documents pertaining to their accounts, if you have separate accounts, but certainly get them for your joint account. Get hold of your passport, your birth certificate, your driving license, all your own pa paperwork. Get that out of there. Make sure you've got your hands on everything um, so that you are prepared because they will hold those things as bait to either draw you into meeting them or to control you from doing anything. Um, financially control you from taking out a bank account, for example. So it is really important that you start gathering those things. In. Decide upon your boundaries. I appreciate boundaries are really difficult when you've been in a relationship with someone who, one, doesn't respect yours, and two, you've given up on them, really, because they've been ignored anyway, and they've just created more arguments. So it's going to be difficult, but it's really worth doing the work on that because those boundaries will protect you and the children moving forward. Manage your expectations of the process. Understand what court is interested in, what it's not, how to speak the language. Be clear on what you want out of it, but also is that realistic? Either speak to other people in a similar situation or get expert help. And the final one is obviously get support. This is a lot. You need to be mentally at your best to go up against a narcissist in a divorce or a family court process if it's just about the children. So get support. Make sure that you're speaking to people or a therapist who totally understands what you are up against. If you are looking for additional support, I do run a Facebook group called Slaying the Narcissist. I will post the link in the description. Do feel free to join. You'll get peer support. We'll offer advice on how you go through before, during and after your divorce um, and general recovery tips from a narcissistic relationship. Um, you'll get access to lots of um, the new product launches, new videos, everything. So if you want to join, the link is in the description. If you've got any questions, do pop them in the comments. Um, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I'd love to hear your experiences or anything that you would add to that. Take care everyone and I will speak soon. Bye bye.